Adventures Along with the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Uh, let me squeeze in here for this one, Steve. My name's Arnaz. Hey, today we're going to try a little bit of a new format because we want to get something out that's sort of like a bridge reviews, but without all the editing. Yeah. <laughs> so something that's quick. It's not going to be a super long video. So if you guys just want like our thoughts on a particular figure, but it's not really worth an entire like 15, 20 minutes of me sitting here talking about this thing. Yeah, we just want to get in and get out. Giggity. So we thought for our first one, that'd be a good one, is this Legacy Collection, or sorry, Amber Collection, uh, Owen. First mess up. Bam! <laughs> right? Because, uh, again, don't plan on editing any of this. Um, but this is from Mattel. It's from their Amber Collection line. Uh, box, Steve. Steve. Box. Box. We need a box, Steve. Uh, I think it's currently in the garbage. <laughs> oh, you monster. I'm sorry. I just I bought them just so he could do the pose. And we can call it a day. Literally, you bought him for one thing. Well, what else was I going to buy him for? Because to be fair, out of for Owen, the only movie, like Jurassic World was cool. Fallen Kingdom, eh, it's okay. The name Chris Pratt or something like that. Yeah, it is Chris Pratt. Yeah. Because um, it almost Why? looks, like this figure looks like just a dumbed down Star-Lord. What? Like I, they almost could have just took a Star-Lord head popped on this figure and then just found some like generic guy. To me, could it looks gone. like that guy from Fast and Furious. Paul Walker, that's what he looks Paul like. Paul Walker, <laughs> Seriously, he does. Just take the beard off and bam, there it is. Well, he, Paul Walker sort of had like that thing going on. Oh, uh, we got to put him in a car now. <laughs> just like him next to Vin Diesel, just yeah. like looking out the window. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, so for these kind of reviews, uh, they'll just be quick, dirty, and, and just kind of like if you guys want to know. Um, two cents. Three just cents, our two yeah. cents on the figure. If you guys were just like hesitant on it be a good stop uh, without having to go through a butt ton of footage uh, but anyways closer we get the details that sculpt does look nice uh, you can see his eyes a little bit of pupil action it's got a little bit of that peach fuzz on the face his hair is kind of doing this foop up motion but you do get some detailing inside of that i think my only thing is is to me it doesn't look quite like chris pratt like just like we were mentioning like Kind of looks like Paul Walker. Looks like generic dude with some blonde <laughs> hair. Dirty blonde hair. I tell you, that's what he reminds me of. First time I saw it. Like, this figure actually would make for great customs. Because there's not a lot going. Like, you could almost, like, make this into a Nathan Drake. Yeah, because it's just, he's, his body is so plain. Yeah, because underneath, you just got, like, the blue t-shirt. You get, the vet, like, his over shirt slash vest on the top here. Sleeves are tucked up. You get his watch, which he has... Uh, I thought it was on the underside. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. So it's right there. So if he wants to check it, you have to break his elbow. Oh, the pain <laughs> is real. But it's got some blue jeans on. He's got a belt. Only thing back here, you, you do have the knife, which actually comes out. Oh. So you can have him holding on to it. And beyond. Only thing is, is I wish this thing came with more. Like, there's no nothing? No like, this is it. This is all you get if you buy How it. How much? Uh, I, what Amber? These guys are like twenty five ish. Oh, so that's neck you, do, you do get a stand. Oh crap! That's what I'm missing. I didn't grab the stand. Oh, you're failing us, Steve. Uh oh no. Trash can. He's checking the trash can, people. Uh, Steve, looking. I uh, don't. Hold on. I'll go get Ian's. All right, let's keep talking. I'll be back. <laughs> This is hilarious because Steve can't edit any of this. So you guys want to know where you guys want to know where Steve lives? I let you guys in on a secret. Oh, never mind. He's back. and I'm back. I'm not even closing the door. It comes with these, <laughs> so you can peg him into it to get him to stand on it. Well, well a small little <laughs> edit, but no, no, edit, <laughs> it comes with a stand. He hooks onto it. Super sweet. Um, <laughs> articulation. You do get a lot of range out of it. Arms can go up and down. These have been at the elbows. Hands rotate. Like, it mostly does, like, everything you'd want it to. Posability. Like, even a rotation at the thigh. Um, so, it's nicely articulated, detailed pretty well. Uh, I just, I wish it came with something. Like, for the price, I think they cheaped out a little bit on this one. It could have came with, like, a gun. Like, one of the guns you ran around with, at least. So, you have something. And I get, like, it's a Fallen Kingdom, so it doesn't... It's not going to come with the Jurassic World stuff. Yes. Even though I could have, like, the clicker thing that he was using with the Raptor, so you yeah, could do the click, pose. Click, click. It, it, like, stuff like that, or even, like, 
I think he had a carbine. Anything. For 25 bucks, you get nothing, man. That, that's frustrating. Yeah, like five more bucks, I get a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> price. Yeah, no, like, I would get more stuff. I'd get a, at least extra hands. Yeah, alien. Pretty you even get a burning Godzilla from Target. Like, even Ian came with, like, something that was, like, scene-specific. He gets a stupid knife. So, if you're really into Fallen Kingdom, I would grab this guy. If you just like Jurassic Park figures, I'd grab this guy. Or customizing. But you have to really like Fallen Kingdom or even Jurassic World to really pick up this guy. Like, if you're just into the first three movies or even first two movies, being generous. And for um, all those people that think that he's sexy, no, it does not look like him. Pretty much. Um, so, to me, like... We bought it, of course, because we just buy pretty much everything Jurassic Park. But for not hardcore fans, easy pass. But what do you guys think of this format? Let us know in the comments section below if you guys would like to see more of this stuff. Because we could definitely pound out a lot more of these kind of reviews. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun. At least it's fun. Yeah, uh, that and this will also be on Patreon a day in advance. We'll do the same thing with these like we do on the unboxings. Hmm. Yeah. So you'll get a, they'll get a little preview of it before. So so if you guys like to donate at least a dollar, you can go check these out before everybody else. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, or I guess dinosaurs in this case. We got a dinosaur. Got yeah, a we got a dinosaur. Got a Charlie. Yeah. Hit that like button. <laughs> Subscribe to Ranger Day. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hold on. No. There's your skid, people. <laughs> <laughs> I still hate this headband. <laughs>